What's up? My name is Adam Osborne, and uh, this is Cool Edit Pro, and I wanted to go over something, and I don't remember who I was speaking to, but I wanted to go over ways to make uh, music kind of gel with a voiceover a little better. Um, what I have here is a, a spot for uh, the 99 restaurants, and uh, it's a little something like this. Visit the 99 restaurants for lunch today to try the new ciabatta sandwich combos, like the new turkey and Havarti, the very veggie, or the roast beef and Asiago, each served with one side for only six ninety nine. The 99 restaurants, great meal, great deal. So you'll hear from that, the music was a little overpowering. Um, there's two ways you could approach that. I've already got it turned down, negative uh, 12. Um, and I could go even further if I really wanted to. I mean, I could bring it down to probably negative 17 would cut it. Visit the 99 restaurants for go lunch today to try the new ciabatta sandwich combos, like the new turkey and Havarti, the very veggie, or the... I'd bring it down to negative 21, and that's where I would feel comfortable. Right restaurants there. for lunch today to try the new ciabatta sandwich combos, like the new turkey... But I don't like to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back up to negative 12 where I had it, all right? And another way I want you to start thinking about maybe doing this is mess with this. I've talked, I don't remember who I was talking to, but I was mixing and someone was in here looking over my shoulder and I said, oh, I've never used those in, in the multi-track. And uh, that's kind of weird to me because it's the easiest way to do things because you can, you can adjust the EQ based on how you need it in a project. I mean, you could go into the solo view here, wow, and, uh, you know, go into your graphic equalizer and frig with it, but you don't know how it's going to sound in the mix. And that's why it's best to use these uh, little... Uh, on board, they're not really on board because there's no board, but you know, the, the multi track EQs. So, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to suck since the vocal range is uh, all in that uh, mid range. I'm going to suck about uh, six out of that mid range, six decibels. And we're going to hit play and see if that made it any better. Visit the 99 restaurants for lunch today to try the new ciabatta sandwich combos. Much better than say this. Visit the 99 restaurants for lunch today. I mean, you're sucking a lot of those frequencies that are, uh, you know, competing with the voice out of it. And I'm going to bring this down just a couple, but it's a lot better because... Visit the 99 restaurants for lunch today to try the new ciabatta sandwich combos. And that is a very comfortable mix. Here's, here's the way I like to think of it, all right? And I'm going to draw you some very detailed uh, sketches right here. But here's what I want you to think, all right? This is a flat music mix right here. So there you go. That's your low. That's your mid. These are frequencies. And there's your high, all right? So there's your flat EQ'd music bed, and here's your voiceover just kind of sitting on top of it. And that's fine, but it could be better. So wh what I like to do, and this is how you're, you should think of it, is you're just you're you're creating a space for it to nestle inside. So you got your low, you got your mid now, which is scooped out a little bit, and you got your high, and now your voiceover comfortably rests inside of your music. You've nested it in there rather than just plopping it on top. And it's still going to be the most prominent thing because it's going to be higher than the rest of it. But now it very comfortably rests within your mix. It's mixed instead of just kind of, you know, taking a couple pieces of clay and smushing them together. So that's your uh, onboard EQ or the multi-track EQ uh, for Cool Edit Pro. I, uh, I, I use it all the time. It's fantastic, especially with uh, voiceovers. They, you don't like the EQ. And you can't get it just right in there. Well, this is a nice little on the fly. Oh, I need a little more high end. It's, you know, it needs a little more in that area when it's mixed with this music. It's a good thing, man. Use it. Just, you know, if your view looks like that, just stretch it out a little bit, too. That's all you got to do, man. I'm Adam Osborne, and uh, Cool Edit Pro is my lover.